waste collection. Uh, no, we have solid waste collection next. Yeah, but that includes, and that's the only thing left before we get to the total. Well, the total is four seven five two five four. Yes. For the total waste collection. Okay, go ahead. I so move. Seconded by Mr. Pierce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I want to talk about something on that page. Now, I have a question. And you're not going to like me very much. I watched the discussion last evening. And Fred is saying quite frequently that our big problem is the volume of waste. And you were mentioning that last evening, Chris, of course, your staffing and the inability to perform some things, especially in the high summer. And I have two observations. The first one is that I don't believe we should be collecting commercial waste at all. I have said this before and people get mad at me, but I think it's a very bad thing for a community to be doing to have the public and businesses that do pay to dispose of their own waste, like the galley hatch, are um, being imposed on. Uh, I think that we certainly could cut down our volume of waste substantially Point of if order. we readjusted. Point of order. Yes, sir. We are not here tonight to discuss the maybes or not maybes of picking up trash. Well, we, we're discussing we're the cost it. of the we're waste. We're doing it. So well, you can talk about the cost as we t talk about it, but don't. And the get into other, the, the do's and the don'ts on the trash, and the because other that's problem, a total waste of time. The other problem, Please must move on. The other problem, gentlemen, is that the transfer station, which was built 20 years ago when the landfill was closed, was never built to handle the volume of waste that it handles today. And before you know it, you're going to be looking at a Warren article to build a new transfer station. That station is overworked as far as I can see. So I just want to put that out there. I think it is a very poor thing for a community to be collecting commercial waste. And if we want to continue in the same pattern and be stuck and have trouble with all of our... Point of order, ma'am. Yes. Point of order. Yes. I believe that there was a Warren article. There was. And the people in town voted on it. There are Warren been, articles it's here. Been, it's been decided. And, and there are Warren articles all over so, this place. I know, I know. It could be a new one. I know. It's, it's been talked about before. But I there was know a Warren that. article, and it was. But when I hear the struggles of this department, when I hear the staffing problems in this department, when I hear the vehicle problems in this department, when I hear all of the difficulties uh, with collecting this huge volume of waste, I think it's a very sad situation. Now, questions on the waste collection. You've got regular wages, part-time, overtime, recycling, hauling. I'm looking at diesel fuel, so if I can start there, I will. Actuals is 21, and the, the BOS wants 45 to 355. I believe that Christy is going to be addressing all the diesel yes. and gasoline we're things on about Thursday. Right. Gas and diesel. Yeah, we're marking the gas and diesel as we go along. Yeah. I'm yellow I just highlighting. Bring it up so we won't forget. Yeah. Any further questions on the solid waste collection, municipal solid waste, four hundred and seventy-five thousand two five four. In favor. In favor. <coughs> One, two, three. Brian, what are you doing, my dear? No. Brian said no. Okay, and uh, Laura and Bolsey no also, also say no. I'm going to say no. Also. So who else? Oh. Is, who Pierce. Who else is okay, let's do this again. Pierce, Lapham, Wolsey, and Mara are saying no. Right? And everybody else said yes. Except okay, moving Tim on. Tim's not here. Tim's not here, so he's just not voting. Uh, uh, right.